This is CNN Breaking News. You are live in the CNN Newsroom. I'm Braden Shanks in Orlando, and we're following breaking news out of Washington today. Attorney General Merrick Garland has appointed a special counsel to take over the investigation into the Obama-era classified documents found at President Joe Biden's home and former private office. The special counsel is Robert Herr, who was nominated to be U.S. Attorney in Maryland by then-President Donald Trump in 2017, and he served in the role until his resignation in 2021. He has most recently been working in private practice in Washington, D.C. The appointment is a major moment for Biden and marks a unique moment in American history with special counsels investigating the current president and his immediate predecessor at the same time. So you may remember Garland in November appointed a special counsel to oversee the criminal investigation into the retention of national defense inf information at former President Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago Resort in Florida and into parts of the January 6, 2021 insurrection. The special counsel uh, investigation, along with the aggressive new Republican-led House of Representatives, leads to Biden being on the defense for the next two years. Now, this appointment comes hours after the White House Counsel's Office said in a statement that Biden's aides located documents inside his home in Willing Wilmington, Delaware. The documents were located in a storage area in Biden's garage and in an adjacent room. The statement reads, uh, But to dive in deeper, I do want to point out the stark contrast when it comes to the scandal that enveloped former President Donald Trump in late 2021 over scores of classified documents found at his Mar-a-Lago home in Florida during a raid by the FBI. Let's get into this. Biden's personal attorneys quickly turned over a small number of classified documents once they were found in a locked space. On the other hand, with Trump, when the National Archives realized key records were missing, it was forced to haggle with Trump for months over the return of government records. The documents discovered in Biden's office had never been sought or requested by NARA or any other government agency. Uh, entity, sorry. Trump eventually gave 15 boxes of materials back to NARA, but federal investigators later came to correctly suspect that he was holding out a dozens of additional classified files. So the DOJ prosecutor secured a grand jury subpoena and later got a judge's permission to search Mar-a-Lago to find the documents. As noted earlier in the show, Trump is now under investigation by special counsel Jack Smith for potentially mishandling those classified documents. Ever since the FBI searched Mar-a-Lago in August, a search that, as I said, uncovered additional classified documents, Trump has promoted wild and unfounded allegation about his predecessor's supposed, supposed mishandling of government records. The news about classified records turning up at Biden's private office is sure to provide new fodder to Trump, who has already announced his 2024 presidential bid. Trump's lawyers see the revelation of the documents in Biden's private office as a huge asset to their ongoing case related to Trump's handling of classified documents after he left office, believing that it showcases how easy it is to unknowingly take documents that are supposed to be in possession of the federal government. While the differences in the two incidents are very stark, given Trump resisted turning over the documents he took, his team plans to highlight how these documents were found days before the midterm elections, Biden's documents, but nothing was said publicly about it. Stay with us. You're watching CNN. Welcome back to CNN Newsroom. We have some breaking news we need to report on. Lisa Marie Presley, the daughter and only child of Elvis and Priscilla Presley, once married to Michael Jackson and Nicolas Cage, has died. She was 54 years old and she had been hospitalized for cardiac arrest. Let's look back at Lisa Presley's life. She was born at the high of Elvis's fame in 1968 and grew up squarely in the spotlight as the daughter of the man celebrated as the king of rock and roll. Elvis and Priscilla Presley separated in 1972 when their daughter was only four, and she was only nine when her father died in 1977. Soon she began, she began acting out and experimenting with drugs, resulting in her mother sending her to a series of private schools, including a boarding school in California. Presley later launched her career in 2003 with a debut album called To Who It May Concern. It reached five on the Billboard 200 album charts and was certified gold that summer. She wrote almost all the lyrics and, and almost all of the melodies. She had four children. Riley Keough, Benjamin Keough, Harper, Vivian, Anne Lockwood, Finley Anne Love Lockwood. And in 2022, 2020, uh, her son Benjamin Keough died by suicide at the age of 27. 
Last July, she marked the second anniversary of his death on Instagram, sharing a photo of their matching foot tattoos. In September, Presley wrote an essay for National Grief Awareness Day in which she opened up about the loss of her son. Quote, My and my three daughters' lives, as we knew it, were completely de detonated and destroyed by his death. We live in this every single day, she wrote. And she continued, grief is something you will have to carry with you for the rest of your life, in spite of what certain people or our culture want us to believe. You do not get over it. You don't move on, period. Again, Lisa Marie Presley passing away at the age of 54. We'll be right back. Welcome back to CNN Newsroom. Let's talk about a space telescope story that is close to my heart because my star-loving Liam will find this one interesting and I think you will too. Let's get smarter. The James Webb Telescope can add another cosmic accomplishment to its list. The Space Observatory has been used to confirm the existence of an exoplanet for the first time. The celestial body, uh, known as LHS 475b, and it's located outside of our solar system, almost exactly the same size as Earth. The rocky world is 41 light years away in the octans constellation. Hope I got that right. <laughs> Previous data collected by NASA's Transmitting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS, had suggested the planet might exist. A team of researchers led by staff astronomer Ke Kevin Stevenson and postdoctoral fellow Lustig Yeager, um, Jacob Lustig -Lier -Lier, sorry, uh, at John Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory in Maryland, uh, they, they observed the target using the telescope. They watched for dips in starlight as the planet passed in front of a, its host star called a transit, and they watched two transits occur. Quote, there is no question that the planet is there. Webb's pristine data validated, Lustig Yeager said in a statement. The planet's discovery was announced yesterday at the 241st meeting of American Astro Astronomical Society in Seattle. If you look at your screen right now, this is an illustration that shows this new exoplanet. It is rocky and almost the exact same size as Earth. Webb is the only telescope that has cap the capability to characterize the atmospheres of exoplanets that are the same size of Earth. The research team used Webb to analyze the planet across multiple wavelengths uh, of light to see whether it has an atmosphere. For now, the team hasn't been able to make any de definitive conclusions, but the telescope's sensitivity picked up a range of molecules that were present. The astronomers will have another chance to observe the planet again over the summer and conduct a follow-up analysis on the potential presence of an atmosphere. Now that is a story I can gravitate towards. <laughs> That does it for me this hour. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Bray underscore Shanks, and you could tweet the show at CNN Newsroom. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Braden Shanks in the CNN Newsroom. Our coverage continues after this quick break. See you next time.